in 2005, the Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt, Mr. and Mrs. Smith came out, and it was a fun idea. A couple that works for separate assassin agencies end up getting tasked to kill one another. That's an interesting idea, and it was fun. Maybe not the most memorable action film of all time, but it was enjoyable for what it was. And now, in 2024, we have Donald Glover's Mr. and Mrs. Smith series, which overall wasn't too excited with him developing and revamping this movie into a show, but I don't know why I even decided to count out Donald Glover, because Mr. and Mrs. Smith is one of my new favorite TV obsessions, and one of the biggest reasons that I am obsessed with this show, because of Donald Glover or Maya Eskrin, it is flat out because of how well written it is and how intriguing the show is. And this is absolutely must watch television and it is an incredible format for what they were able to do. And taking that idea, taking that concept from one movie and drastically changing it in little tidbits here and there and making a poignant piece on relationships. So if you're married, in a relationship, engaged, whatever it may be, you are going to have an absolute ball with this show. And if you're not, you'll still get some entertainment out of it because it's not just hilarious, it's action-packed, and it's very intriguing to watch throughout the entire way through. But what is this about? Because this is not that original movie, it's different. This couple's not married from the beginning. They're actually two lonely strangers who land a job working for a mysterious spy agency that offers them the glorious life of espionage, wealth, world travel, travel, and a dream brownstone in Manhattan. The catch, their new identities in an arranged marriage as Mr. and Mrs. John and Jane Smith now hitch John and Jane navigate a high-risk mission every week while also facing a new relationship milestone. Their complex cover story becomes even more complicated when they start to actually catch real feelings for each other and what's riskier than espionage or marriage. About all you need to know without getting in too much into spoilers because this will be a non-spoiler review for this series. I got to check out the series early. It premieres February 2nd. You might be watching it closer to the release date. You might be watching it after its release. All I can say is that I was blown away by the series. Very excited to talk about it and can't wait to get your guys' thoughts down below in the comment section. So leave your thoughts down there. Hit that like and subscribe button and let's dive right into this. The one thing I want to start off with is the performances because Donald Glover is just stupendous in here. I love seeing him play this badass spy who also has a little bit more meaningfulness underneath him. And that's the way that I actually really like between him and Maya Eskrin, who I think overall both of their performances are phenomenal. Their chemistry is great. Everything you see together with them as a couple is so realistic. That realistic approach to this is one of the aspects that actually makes this series so delightful, but at the same time poignant to so many other relationships. And we're going to keep that poignant part and put it to the side for a second because, again, I just want to focus on the performances. Glover, absolutely great transforms into this role but Maya who plays Jane Smith in here really took me back I love what they did with her character and she has a really interesting performance because overall she has a lot of stuff that she's hiding behind the scenes a lot of stuff that's just a little bit of the background where Donald Glover's maybe a little bit more open with his life they try to be secretive for the most part but when they start to actually get into that relationship those milestones that they have to hit do open certain avenues and Speaking of those, that's the one thing that I was really surprised by is those milestones. And while we'll talk a little bit more about that when I get to the writing, I really like how they had each episode structured as a milestone in a relationship. So when you have eight episodes of a television show, you're able to dive through these milestones and really feel like this relationship is building and is specifically the chemistry between the two. And they make it feel just seamless. Like you, after you're done watching all eight episodes, which you're gonna wanna binge, like just as a point of reference, I got all eight episodes and my goal was to watch two a day up until like two days before the embargo was relifting. And I sat there and I watched seven episodes in a row. I was so hooked. And the only reason I did not watch the finale was because I had to go do something. And I wanted to make sure that I could give all my time and attention to it. And that's exactly what happened now. And I can't wait to rewatch this. I was telling my fiance that the second this comes out, we're going to have to binge it with one another because I'm excited to see it again. I'm excited to show her. I'm excited to see my friends and family's reactions to this new version of the show and see what they're able to interpret and take from it as well. And again, 
both of them excellent. And also what I really liked is that all the side casts, what they really do well in here is that they have a lot of smaller performances from some more major and notable actors that you might see throughout here. I won't spoil too many, but just speaking about one, Paul Dano. And his character is overall this mysterious stranger to them. Now, there's this is the thing that I really love is that there's always these nice twists and turns throughout the entire show in terms of those milestones in their relationship, but also as well as the side characters and what goes apart into their missions. That's actually the one part that I was so surprised by is how the show was actually directed. The show doesn't feel directly like an actual action comedy. It feels something that's more indie-ish and actually developed and created in into that feeling. And once you see who has directed certain episodes, you'll be like, oh, that makes sense because they did Atlanta or they did Barry and it kind of has that same tone and feel, but I love the indie-ish spy feeling here. There are some big bombastic action sequences, nothing to the stake scale of John Wick, but there's some nice subtle ones in here that are again, giving you that action take. But this isn't all about the action, it's not. Like the action's there and it's enjoyable and I like it and I think it's all film stylized well. E though, the reason I kept coming back to the series was to see how their relationship would progress. What mission would they have to go on and what milestone would be a part of that mission in there? And I also really love the dynamic and change up of the Mr. and Mrs. Smith program. I liked seeing the little changes from the movie. I think it actually works a little bit better here. Having two strangers have to be a couple. These are ideas that I'm very interested in. And overall, I'm really excited to see this and excited to see what people discuss with because those milestones they talk about, they talk about counseling. They talk about double dating. What does this look like for spies? And I liked how each and every episode's story was progressing through that. Even down to the very first episode, the pilot of it all, which really establishes the concept. But these two, they're awkward. They don't know each other. They're strangers. They're living in a house together and have to have this arranged marriage. And for me, that first episode is just one of the best pilots I've seen in a while because you watch it all and there's some twists and turns towards the back half where you're like, whoa, okay, so like this is where it's going. These are the missions that they'll tackle, some subtle, some not. But continuing to see them get to know each other was one of the most satisfying things I truly felt watching this show. And it really does feel believable in the eight episodes that you truly see them go through a majority of what couples go through in their entire relationship. And for me, that is the reason that I think the show is succeeding. I think the writing is hands down the most incredible part of it all. On a technical level, it's shot well, it's edited excellently. I loved again the action when they had some, but it really came down to that writing and how every episode was paired with the last and how there's this, while it feels like it's like an episode of the week or a mission of the week and a milestone of the week, but in terms of this, it's a bingeable show, so it's like a milestone and a mission of the episode. There is a through line through it all that connects to the very last episode and the finale of this all. And that for me was not something I expected. Once you see the finale, you watch the whole thing back, you think about the whole thing back and how their relationship progressed. And it is genuinely one of the most important parts of the entire show. And it overall as a film lover, as someone who loves TV, as someone who binges this stuff, and as someone who loves like action, but when someone can take the action genre and dissect it and make it more meaningful than what the original movie was. You can make it entertaining and you can enjoy this on a surface level, but when you actually dissect into the show and what it has to say about relationships, what it has to say about couples, what it has to say about those milestones that you can reach in your relationships, some great, some bad, and see how a spies can handle this, it feels so relatable, it's humorous, and sometimes it's depressing, but it's something that really got me on board. It was not something I was expecting, and I absolutely love this series, and I love what they were able to craft here. Finally, I wish I could talk more spoilers because I think there's so much that I love about this series that a lot of it comes down to spoilerish moments that, again, it's not fair for you guys to be spoiled on. So 
do understand that. Definitely, once the show comes out, start leaving your thoughts on what some of your favorite episodes were, what some of your favorite moments, and we'll definitely have those conversations down below. As for this series, as incredible as it was, I do have like one little minor nitpick for it all, and that just comes down to the ending. I think the ending's smart. I like what they did with it. It's something that I kind of, it's a little open-ended, if I'm being honest. I'm going to have to think on it and research into it, but I also... I'm wondering if we will end up getting a second season because the way that the series closes out overall in the final episode, I feel satisfied with the majority of what I learned and what the series was trying to tell me in terms of what Donald Glover views in relationships. And that's the one thing I'm curious to see is if they do a second season or what a second season could look like. I think that finale is going to be a little bit different for everyone. I didn't hate it. I didn't mind it. I liked it but it's something that I need to sit on and think about since it's a little open-ended. And that's just something to kind of keep in mind because I do understand people, when you're watching eight episodes, 12 episodes of television, however many it may be, you always want a satisfying ending. And I do understand that some people will be a little bit disappointed maybe going into the series and getting an open-ended ending. Now, they announce the season two tomorrow. This is a 10 out of 10 season. I'm all fine with it. I think most people agree that's all fine and dandy to end the season on. This ends up just being a one go around thing then maybe I'll start feeling a little bit different. But I think there's two sides of the coin. There's a side of it where I feel satisfied with what they showed in this series, and I'm okay with this just being a one and done. But then there's the other side of me where it's like, well, I want to keep exploring certain concepts with this idea, and I don't want to lose out on that. So with that said, I love this series. It is my brand new obsession. Mr. and Mrs. Smith is must-watch television with its incredible writing, its humorous moments, and its dissection on the poignant aspect of what relationships are. Even if, and no matter how you might be like, I don't know how this can be relatable, it's relatable even if they are spies. Glover and Eskrin are absolutely incredible in here, and I cannot wait to see what they both go and do next, but specifically people's reactions to this series. So again, with all that said, I'm going to give Mr. and Mrs. Smith an A. Thank you so much again, guys, for watching this. Make sure to hit that like, subscribe, and comment down below your guys' thoughts. And of course, until next time, stay classy.